Hi everyone, I'm here today to review Theodore Boone, which is the first book in the Theodore Boone series by John Grisham, and this is a YA series. I personally listened to the audiobook for this and I gave it four stars. I always look at reviews of books, or at least skim some reviews so I don't get support for stuff, just to get a sort of feeling of how people have felt about a book before I actually read it, and I saw a very mixed bag for this one, and it seems to create real extremes in responses. And so my best advice to you you, if you are thinking of reading this book is to take what everyone says about it with an absolute pinch of salt and just jump in and try it for yourself because you won't know whether you like it or not until you try it. Now I will say that this is the first book I've ever read by John Grisham and I'm not sure whether that will have had an influence on my reading or not. I don't know what his adult books are like so I can't compare the two. However as far as other YAs that I've read I felt that this was sort of there with them. It it wasn't of poor quality. I didn't feel like he struggled to do YA and I definitely plan to continue on with the series. A lot of people have major issues with this book for no other reason than they feel like the character doesn't act how a character of that age should but I really think that that's a very relative thing because in any situation you are going to get people who are more mature than their age same as you can get immature 30 year olds. It, it's a very personal thing, everyone is different so I'd say that wasn't really a problem for me most of the time. And I definitely don't think it affected my overall experience of the story. So this story is about a young boy named Theodore who gets the nickname of Teddy through the rest of the story, and so therefore the rest of my review. And he has a very strong interest in criminal law and the criminal justice system as a whole. And this probably comes from the fact that his parents work in the industry, as does an uncle of his, so it's something that has been in his family for quite some time. I would say I find it a little bit unbelievable that he wants to spend every single spare minute doing things like watching cases and just generally being involved in the criminal law system, but to each their own, I suppose, it's not totally unlikely, just... I found it a little hard to believe. Also other kids tend to go and sort of ask him for legal help and I found that a little bit like what? Because that's normal conversation in the playground. Oh yes my parents this this that and the other and so what is my criminal sort of leg? What is my standpoint on that situation? It's like what? I... Now there isn't an awful lot of that but it is a thing that keeps reoccurring and I'm like how no on the plus side though I found this series really easy to get into and I definitely felt that I was hooked from the first few pages because the pace was perfect and definitely worked towards a more sort of YA pace with very few information dumps I really think if I'd read this book as a teenager I'd have enjoyed it just as much as reading it now and even at my age now I find myself totally swept into the story and even if I'd been reading a physical copy rather than the audiobook I still think that I'd have got sucked right in although the audiobook was also fantastic I feel like you could go either way with this listen to the audiobook, read the physical copy, I don't think this book particularly matters either way but the audiobook was great, I didn't find the narrator grating at all at the same time there was nothing really outstanding that I feel like I need to mention about the narrator, it wasn't anything special but it wasn't terrible by any means, it's just a bog standard audiobook really and if you prefer to listen to audiobooks and read a physical book I highly recommend you pick up the audiobook and all in all whichever way you want to pick this series up I suggest you do if you find it interesting because I thought it was a great first book in a new YA mystery crime kind of series and I can't wait to see what the next book brings so thank you very much for watching this review if you liked it please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you want to see more book reviews and other bookish content from me and I'll see you in my next video bye bye